<laughs> could, could I have not got anything bigger than that? Get that Hello everybody, and welcome to my free-to-play first look for World Tour Fishing, or simply WTF for short form. Yes, I am playing a fishing MMO right now, don't judge me, it's actually a really freaking cool game. And uh, I'm gonna show you that right now. I actually, actually started playing it last night, and I accidentally, like, three hours, and now I'm level eight. So this really isn't a first look, this is more kind of like my indie game spotlight series where I do a little bit of the game, kind of get an understanding of it, and showcase it for you. So this, this is going to be a, definitely a more informative one as compared to my other free-to-play first looks. So yes, um, w the first thing I really noticed about this game is, I well, I immediately assumed it's a fishing game, how fun can that be o over and over again just fishing? This game does a really good job of giving you certain things to do, always keeping you entertained by doing quests, doing bingo cards, doing different things to keep you out there, keep you fishing, and keep you getting rewards. Now you have a daily login bonus that's pretty much common with all free-to-play games that um, try and keep people playing. You have a daily challenge system where if you're done your quest you can do different challenges and get different rewards. You also have a bingo system where, oh, there we go. You also have a bingo system where you have different challenges to do. Once you complete this this huge bingo card, you get these rewards over here. Um, I'm not going to go too much into what the, all these items do, because there is a lot of items in this game, but they, essentially they give you upgrades that improve your fishing capabilities and give you different um, things to use while fishing. So, I'm, what I'm just trying to say is there's just so much to do in this game that isn't just about fishing. As you can see, my quest log, I have a lot of quests I'm currently doing as well. It's not just go out there, fish, level up, um, get bigger fish. It's just, just constant things to do. Uh, we have a character screen here. You can see I have different gear. I have actually stats. Uh, you do you do, do damage in this game to your fish, which is like a counterattack, and basically you can reel it in faster. Um, a lot of different things. Line strength, line flexibility, hook bonus. Just a whole bunch of fishing-related things. It, it's just weird seeing like fishing-related things. Um, games going into an MMO market and basically blending them into one game. It's just such a weird idea, and it's actually done quite well in this one. Now, this is a bit buy to win. It is um, actually on Games Campus, and they're basically been known to really charge up people to uh, play their games. But you don't need to buy anything. That's the thing. Like with this game, you can play it all you want without buying anything, and you can pretty much fish anything you want. You're just not going to be able to get up to where the um, people who are buying things can get as fast. Uh, so if we go to quest, what have I done? Uh, the Fishopedia. So th another really cool thing I like about this game is the amount of fish, and each fish fights their own unique way. So I'm not going to spend too much time on the main menu here. I do want to get into the gameplay, but as you can see, each place has like... Well, this one has, like, look, look at that. That's, like, four pages of different fish. And then we go to Korea. There's all these different spots as well with just as many fish. We go to Southeast Asia. Way more spots. Way more fish. And then we go to Mediterranean. Just as many spots. And it, there's just a lot of different content in this game. And there's, like, hundreds of fish that each have their own unique fighting style. And you really have to understand how to fight each one to reel them in. Uh, we got records here, so I don't really know what this is all about. Tournaments. Each day there's different tournaments going on. Well, not each day, but pretty much every day. You have a different tournament you can join in on and uh, get rewards. Pretty cool. De definitely I like the tournament idea because it kind of blends in the MMO with uh, this game. Uh, I was just in records. Bingo, yes, we did that. Aquarium is... I don't really get the idea behind this, but I haven't even really looked at it too much. You can basically... You earn these things, you can make a nice little aquarium, you can upgrade your aquarium, you can put fish you catch in there to showcase them. Um, not a really cool idea to me, but I guess some people might like it to look at their aquarium and get this really rare fish and put it in there. That's all good, I guess. We're just gonna exit out of there. I'm not gonna spend too much time there. Community, so you just got friends, guilds, mail, Exclusion, I have no idea what that is. Oh, block list, okay. And then party list, so you can have parties. You can actually have people on your own boats. Um, you can fish with other people. And then item shop, we're going to quickly go over this and really showcase to you where the buy-to-win aspects are. So you can have certain things that give you boosts, like a super landing net. Um, will give you a 2 meter extra landing distance, and you have to buy that with actual real-world currency. Um, simple things like that definitely give you a buff. Avatars, you obviously you can buy different really cool clothing if you want to waste money on that. Uh, there we go, we can do like Indiana Jones here, that's that's always good. 
Uh, but yeah, you can see that there's a whole bunch of different unique things that you can buy. I honestly... What the hell is that thing? It's like a spiked beard. I guess it's supposed to be a mask, but it doesn't fit my character. That is awesome. Then if we go to gear here, anything in gold is actual in-game money. Anything in um, CCs, I think they are. I don't remember what... Oh yeah, CCs is... Um, Real world currency. So these things you actually have to buy with real world currency, and they do have quite a bit of a buff as compared to their level 15 counterpart. So as you can see, this one does a basic damage of um, 19 94.2. This one does 98.2. So it is a bit better if you want to spend CCs, but not overly better either. So that's all obviously very awesome. And you go down the list, you can buy better ones and better ones. Real same thing. Fishing line bait hooks, fish traps. Mo most things you can buy with gold. There's a few slightly buffed items that you can buy with uh, real world currency. Now this is the actual um, clothing that comes you can buy with the gold. So as you can see all, there's actually a, quite a bit you can buy with just in-game gold and obviously it's not as nice as the um, the premium clothing but there is clothing you can, you can customize your own guy to your own liking and um, yeah that's, that's, uh, that's always nice to have at least the option to change your clothing without spending money Something like TF2 should really utilize that. And then we have boats. Um, you can buy, as, as you can see, you can buy boats with gold as well. But then this is where it really gets expensive. You can spend a lot of money in here, real world currency, getting a, not a better boat. And really all the boat seems to bring is a faster speed to go out there. As well as a passenger limit. There's um, higher boats that have a higher passenger limit. As you can see, these boats are getting really expensive. I don't actually know the currency exchange, but it's probably like $20 for that, I'm going to say, right off the top of my head. And then you could all, you, you actually can buy the last tier boat with with gold, but if you go to yachts here, the, these are the ones that really hit you. 3,000 cc's, I don't remember how much that is, but it is a lot of money. That can hold six people, and it is the fastest boat in game, and you need to spend Real world, mo real world world money for that. Um, aquarium slot, I don't know why anyone would ever do that. You can dip, buy different water tanks, different decorations, different lighting, different flooring. Yada, yada, yada. Different things, um, I don't really know what these are. I'm, I'm, I just want to get honestly get out of here because I'm spending way too much time in the cash shop. But as you can see, you definitely do get small buffs if you spend real world money. So let's go to a fishing spot now. As you can see, we're out on the map now. I only have access to Japan, though the uh, later levels, you have to like level up to go throughout the system. I started out here, you go here, and then you can go here. And then I guess this one is the next one after I level up here. So I'm going to go, wow, there's 40 people here. I guess we'll join this room and we'll see what's going on. The sun is shining, hooking is easier, stamina recovery is increased. Now it does have a weird loading system where it does take a second to load everything. As you can see, there's a black texture over here. But after it loads, it does run actually really quite well. You just got to kind of stand around for a second. I do want to show this guy really quickly. We're, we are going to lag here because I did not letting anything load. But um, it should go away relatively quickly. Qu quickly. Now these things, you this is an, another thing you can do. Um, you essentially you earn these by doing different things, and you can get really cool gear with these these shells. So I, again, this is not real world currency. This is other really good items you can buy with these these uh, shell things. So and I think that happens throughout all the levels. That as you get higher up, you can buy be better items with those shells. Uh, if, we, if we go down here, you can see people are fishing off the docks. There's boats out on the water fishing. Actually, quite. It's just such an awesome little relaxed game. I wouldn't say this is the next game you know life on, but it's definitely a game where you can just come in and relax and enjoy. Obviously, the graphics aren't the best. I kind of run like I have to take a shit or something. Um, you can also point and click to move. I, I, see, I think a lot of Asian MMOs like doing that. I personally can't stand it, but uh, I, I would much rather use the WASD. Now, if we go out here, you can just simply click, and then... You, what I really like about this game is how much it feels like the real thing. Now, I am a, a, a definitely a fan of fishing, so I really appreciated this. You actually pull back to uh, to swing, and then you just let go, and, uh, and, and you wait. But it's just... And then you can actually move your pole around. I don't know if this actually, like, taunts the fish or anything, but it just... It, it does a great job at making you feel like you're actually fishing. And you can go crazy here. Just wait. I probably shouldn't do that because I probably won't get any fish. But it, honestly, there's there's not much to look at at this game. It's pretty much you're fishing. It's you you either like it or you don't. It's like golf games. A lot, some people like them, some people don't. Okay, so this is 
This is the whole bobber system. Now we're at perfect. And then we got a fish on. Um, this fish is obviously very small because I'm already reeling him in. I would like to... Sh oh, there we go. So I, I can see the, the uh, thing went white. And I actually did damage to him. Oh, God. He's, a, he's actually going to almost break my line. So I am letting line out right now by hitting right click. Trying to not break my line. If you look at the bottom, you can see that that's the line tension. So I kind of want to keep it in the yellow or at least at the bare, bare minimum on the red. Now, but I, I, I reel him all the way in. And... <laughs> Could, could I have not got anything bigger than that? That is so embarrassing. Like, I, I that almost broke my line. A Japanese rice fish. And that gives me XP. So based on the fish, you can also get huge. You can get legendary fish. Um, obviously, the bigger the fish, the more the XP. I'm going to keep that fish. And you can actually turn the fish you keep into bait. Or you can sell them on the market. So we're going to do one more swing here. And then we'll actually get on my... Um, my boat and go out and try and get some bigger fish maybe but th this is I don't think I'm gonna get anything big here uh, if you change your bait as well you, the better bait you use the, the bigger the fish so I'm using I think level the yeah, oh no I'm actually, I'm actually using level six bait right now so I don't know why that fish was so small but I do have level seven right here fish steak so we might try and do that in a minute here as you can see we have a fishing net as well showcasing all the fish I have in my net okay I gotta, I gotta all right there we go and I got that perfectly again and this is really all it is, but it really, you kind of have to get a, a, a knack for it, because I, I've been playing it enough now to understand how, how to fight the fish, but the first time I was breaking lines left, right, and center, you just, you, you kind of got to be careful, you can move your pole around, there, we're going to counter that, when, when that white comes up, you definitely want to counter it, because if you look at the top, his HP went down, once the HP goes all the way down, or the landing gets to that spot, I pull the fish in, so hopefully I can get the landing here to showcase it, oh no, I actually got his HP all the way down. And we got another little guy. Um, I immediately noticed in this game, there's a lot of little fish. So, And this guy's considered big for this species. So you can see that at the starting, you're not going to get very big fish. But I've seen some huge fish as well. I mean, bigger than the person. And they actually hold them up. You can showcase them in front of the lobby. You can put them on a hook and then showcase it to everyone else. It's actually very cool and a very social game. And I actually got another item in that too. I guess that was a quest probably. All right, so I'm going to get in my boat now. And go out a little bit and see if I can find anything else out there. There's there's a lot of random events out there. You can do party-based fishing. Uh, a lot of cool different things. So we're going to put up my boat right here. And honestly, everything just works very well. It's it's I All I have to do is really use my mouse. Everything is pretty much basic. You can just go out here. Obviously, I got a very crappy boat, so I'm going to be very slow. But if we go out here, we can see there's a lot of... I, oh, no. I, I guess those are um, those are placement boats. But that's a, that's a real person... This is a real person here, and you can actually have parties on your boat, so you can set up a party system, and if you have a bit, big, big enough boat, you can get it like six people, I think it goes up to, in terms of having people on your boat. So it's, I don't know, it's just a very social game. So it looks like a lot of people are fishing by this rock here, I'm wondering if there's something over here, or if they're just a group fishing together, and I'm getting a bit of lag, I don't know why, I've never gotten lag in this game. So I apologize about that. I guess people are just fishing here. There's no, I don't see anything here. Sometimes you'll see like a swirl of water and that's like a party activity. Or you'll see a, like a, a buoy or something else and there's definitely different fish there. But I guess we'll fish here, see if we can get anything different. Hopefully something a little bigger. I'm going to change to my better bait here, which is fish steaks. And um, hopefully we can catch an acceptable guy because I, I don't like catching minnows, that's for sure. But you can also reel in a bit if you want. I don't, I don't really know if that helps too much, but I'm just going to keep it out there. And I usually just wait. Um, it, it doesn't seem like moving the pole does anything different, but it, you definitely get different fish um, throughout the lakes. And you really have to strategize where you want to go to catch the fish that you want to catch. As you can see, i got a whole bunch of quests over here. And these, what I really like about this quest list is it only shows the quests in relation to this lake. So, anything that isn't on this lake, I, I'm not going to see on that. Oh, man, I, I didn't get that counter. Okay. So, this guy definitely isn't that big. These fights can go up to, like, 5-10 minutes already. And I've seen, like, some of the bigger fish and some of the higher levels, like, a 40-minute fight. So, as you can see, I'm catching little fish right now. But it's it's still enjoyable. That's the thing. I may, may, Maybe I'm biased because I like fishing. But I definitely enjoy this game. It's... There's something about it that I definitely like. And I don't think it's just because I like fishing. I think it's just such a relaxing game. And this... 
Oh, okay, so this is the landing. You just gotta click and first get. So first get means I've never caught this fish. That's a better fish. That's an acceptable size for me. Very large three lips. That sounds that sounds wrong, but okay, so this is a three lips fish. 220 XP. So I am going to I don't know if I wanna release it. I some quest I think you get bonus XP if you release it. Let's try and release it, see what happens. Um, successful catch, achievement, 150 perfect hook, uh, three lips fishing finished. So I finished a quest, I think? I don't know. I probably shouldn't have released that, because if you can see here, if I go to my bag, I think if I can do this right, fishing net, um, and then if I, yeah, if, if I click make bait, it will make bait out of that fish. Uh, so if we craft that bait, we'll get one fish steak and one fish meal ball. So you don't have to actually buy bait, you can just use the fish, or you can sell the fish and buy bait as well in the store. It, it, it's all optional what you want to do. Um, so I, oh, okay, so I guess it's it randomly chooses one of the two, and I made some fish meal balls, which I didn't want, but I obviously I'll take them. Um, so it looks like people are going over here. I'm just, I, I would like to find some sort of, like, pool of fish or something. And another thing I really like about this game is there's a weather system, and the weather system actually impacts the the size of the fish out. If it's raining, bigger fish are going to be out. Just like in real life, if you didn't know that, um, generally speaking, depending on the species, if it rains, bigger fish are going to be out. And it's actually easier to fish when it's raining because the fish ha have a harder time seeing you. They can actually see, oh, depending on how deep you're fishing, obviously. But the, Oh, okay, so I think there is something here. It looks like there's a little spot that people are fishing at. You can't really see it too much. Uh, maybe not. I guess they're just fishing by the rock. I thought, well, actually, those might be schools of fish. I don't know. I've, I've never seen something that small. But I guess we'll try and fish here. So we're going to stop my engine, and we're just going to cast out beside everyone else. Now, I, I've noticed there's a lot of Brazilians in this. Oh, yeah, you catch a shimmering... You've, you've cast into a school of shimmering dark chub. Is that what it said? I don't know. But this is a school of fish. I, again, there's a lot of random events you can... Yeah, obviously, take your boat, go around, find something, and fish at it. Because you're going to get better fish at, at a random event than you would just fishing at, like, a dock or something. But what I was going to say is there's a lot of Brazilians in this game. I find there's actually not many English-speaking people, so... If you are here for a community, you're going to have to find your own unique... Oh, wow, that was perfect right away. Okay. So, oh, so counter that. And as you can see, his HP goes down. That's all counters do is hit your HP. And when we were talking about the damage of the poles, that's when you're doing damage, is when you're countering. And basically, all you do when you counter, you do it in real life as well. If the fish is going right, you you want to pull your pole left to kind of like just dis dis disorient them into um, being confused, and, and it, it exhausts them as well. Oh my god, I, I was still reeling in. I gotta be careful, because I don't want to break my line. There we go. That's better. But these fights have been really easy, and honestly, I'm kind of pissed off about that, because I've had a lot of really good fights in this game, where I was right on the edge. Um, I haven't really had a hard time since I started this, and I got another first get. Oh, look at the size of this guy. Yeah! Nice. Shimmering Dark jar, dark Chub. So that, that was the school of fish I wanted. And 553 XP. So as you can see, that fish is a lot more than the other fish I've been fishing. Obviously, we're going to keep that. Um, oh, okay. So I just did a quest. So the, the fastest way to get back to the, to the city I find is just to <laughs> exit fishing spot and then load back in. Um, so, oh, so actually, you can, you can, I think you can hand in the quest right here. No, maybe you can't. So these are different quests, and as you see, it's very anime-ish, like most Asian MMOs. But you can you can you can talk to some of the guys here, but you actually have to go to the fishing spot for some of them as well. So we're just gonna quick join, go back here, and hopefully not take too much time loading in. So if we go talk to this guy. We'll see what the reward we get, and then we'll probably go to the next fishing spot. Just check out what's going on there, and then I will end the this video because I don't want to spend too much time on it. But um. Oh, so complete the quest. So I, I was actually completing a story quest. Nice. And I got 1,510 gold and 2,800 XP. So that was quite a good quest. There's daily quests as well as you can see. I actually have a daily active right now. Available quest. I don't want to do a time limit quest. There's no other real quest I want to do here. Um, so let's go back to the main thing. We're going to exit fishing spot and uh, join a, another map here. Do I want to try this one? I don't think I've joined this one yet. There's not many people here, but um, how many people are at the front one? I actually do like looking at this one because there's a... it's just a good spot to, like, chill at and see everyone else because there's a lot of new people here. 
Okay, and they're all on the docks just fishing together. It's really cool to look at. So we'll try this one, and this is right off some sort of city, and you're essentially fishing in a lake. But as you can see, everyone just fishes right, right, right off the front, and you can really see the like. This, this oddly has a decent sized population. Like most free free to play MMOs are just dead. So just seeing even this amount is really cool to see. And you can see they're fighting. You can see everyone's just fishing. And er there's like unique poles. Like this guy's got a blue pole with blue line. That's kind of neat, I guess. You can kind of craft your own unique personality. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll just go over here and do a few more casts and see what we can catch. I don't know if I have to lower my bait or not. You see, everybody, like, all these guys are just, I don't know, I, 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 I just like fishing with people. It's just such a fun, relaxing activity. Okay, so no fisher biting. Please change your bait and try again. So I'm using two high tier bait for this, um, for this spot. So I'm just going to drop down to these meatballs and catch really small fish. You'll, you'll see some of the early fishes and how small they are. I'll probably obviously reel them in really quickly because I have a, bet, a good pull as compared to these fish. But, um... That's no big deal, I guess. What is this up here? I don't even know what this is. Catch and release. So, that, that, oh, because I released it. So, I, oh, I forgot about that. So, if you release fish, you get a, a, a buff for re releasing the fish. The chance to catch huge three lips will increase. So, obviously, if you, if you get a small fish, you're going to want to release it if you're trying to go for huge fishes. Uh, definitely a, an, an, another cool idea to a fishing game. But as you can see, like, I'm not even having a problem. I'm just reeling it right in. I'm not even fighting it. Obviously, this is a bit low tier for me, but you can still see... I mean, that's an acceptably small fish, but it's not bad. I mean, I only got 63 XP. It took me 15 seconds to reel in. I'm going to release it. And yeah, I think... Oh, wow. I, okay, so I got an item for releasing it. But I think I'm going to end this one here, guys. Obviously, I can't really showcase too much more. This is a fishing game. How much more can you see? It's fun. It's enjoyable. I highly suggest it. Uh, it's 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 not not the next world of Warcraft, obviously. But if you want to relax and fish a bit, go ahead and have some fun. So anything regarding it, look down below. Go ahead and download it. It's free, as I stated. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.